Have you got a thousand pound? Well, great news. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can invest in property with just 1,000 in 2023. So I actually did a video like this around a year ago, actually, but with the average property price at 300 thousand pounds how can the average individual get involved and invest in property when they don't have tens or hundreds of thousands of pounds to begin with well the great news is this a majority of people that i know including myself that has been financially successful in property did not start with hundreds or millions of pounds. In fact, I started in credit card debt and a lot of people I know started in credit card debt or with very little to zero money. And it is simple and there are ways for you to do it too. So let's say you're starting from scratch. I'm going to make the assumption that you're new to property, but you're hungry, you've got the mindset and you're willing to take the action. And I think this is incredibly important because a lot of people talk about getting involved in any investment, let alone property. They think about it, they converse about it, maybe they read about it, I don't know. But without action, you're not going to get results. Now, let's be real. If somebody's watching and they've got 100,000 plus to invest in property, it is obviously going to be a lot easier for them. But don't be jealous. They've worked hard for that 100,000 anyway. It is going to be hard for you. It is, but it is going to be simple. And I promise you, there are ways of doing it that I'm going to break down. So just bear with me. So some of you will know the story of how I started anyway, but very briefly, in case you don't, I bought my first property when I was 19. And this is after getting into major debt. I had to beg, borrow, steal. And I bought my first property, number 36, Burdett Street, for £21,800. And though that wasn't the deposit, that was the cash price of the property in Burnley, a three bed mid terrace property went horribly wrong didn't get educated and it wasn't until a few years later that I really threw myself at this got my first property and then built up to where I am today so that was around seven seven and a half years ago and at the point of filming I've been I'm 30 years old and I've done about 80 to 85 million pounds worth of property deals so what do I say? I am a guru and an expert. Absolutely not. I'm very much a student myself crafting, but hopefully I've got enough experience to warrant that actually you can start from nothing and then build that up. So first of all, let's look at what you know. You need to know this stuff. You need to educate yourself. This is the biggest problem that people go through. If you think of a few different examples, if you had a fire going on in your property, you wouldn't expect somebody, random person going, don't worry, I'm a fireman, I've got a bucket, I've got an ax, which is what, gonna chop through the fire, throw the water on there, there you go. No, they go through a lot, years of competency training to be able to effectively starve the flames of oxygen and put it out. Imagine a medical doctor. You go into, I don't know, open heart surgery and then going, right, I've got a sore, got a knife, let's crack on. You'd be like, no, you're right, thank you. Years and years of medical training. Even your education, your formal education I'm talking about at school, you went to school for 16 years to get your GCSEs so that you can go to school to or college to then get your A-levels or your international baccalaureate or your whatever it is, NVQs for two, maybe three years to then go into work, a mid-level worker, or you go to university for three years to get an undergrad degree. Nowadays, to then go get a master's degree for a year or two, to then go work your ass off for somebody else, work for five to 10 years and then start earning good money, right? So why is it people come to property investment and then go, well, I've watched some YouTube videos. Where the fuck is my money? Because it doesn't work like that. And actually, ironically, YouTube, Instagram is probably part of the problem. The thing is, we live in the microwave world where everything is so instantly available. Remember the meals your nan and granddad might have cooked you where they spent hours and hours for you to consume something over half an hour in a good chat. Nowadays, can't be bothered for that. Chuck it in the microwave, two minutes, happy days. The world of Netflix, the world of instant availability of everything. And on social media now, we talk so much about making millions in cryptocurrency. Maybe you've got an NFT, you can do it. It's all bollocks, okay? If you try to get rich quick, the only thing you're doing is giving somebody else your money, and it's a great way to make yourself poor. 
Get your knowledge together. Understand that things take time. And honestly, if you think of your time horizon in a slightly different way, so this is where I see most successful people. If, if I meet somebody and they say, they say they're at a standstill and they go, hey, I want to be a millionaire within 10 years. I'm like, Yes, they are guaranteed to do it. I was close to guarantee because of that time frame. Whereas when people go, I want to quit my job or I want to be financially free in the next month or two, you know all they're going to be doing is chasing the shiny penny one after the other or the other, the other, the other. And they're never going to be successful with that mindset. So first of all, before we even start, get the right mindset and the education and knowledge to understand it is going to take time. And by the way, with this, obviously there are investment courses. And as an educator in property investment, I've obviously got a vested interest, but you don't need to jump to that. There are books, there are podcasts out there. There's this YouTube channel, and hopefully you get loads of value. You've got 200 plus, almost 300 videos out there, but there's other people in there. By the way, if you're new here, subscribe to this channel, of course. But there are other people that can help mold you and shape you. Watch some of us, listen to some of us, and then you'll find somebody that you relate to. Subscribe, immerse yourself into that. The next thing, time management. Weird phrase, time management, isn't it? Where it's like, right, look at the clock. Can you manage the time? Can you change it? No, but what you can do is manage how effective you are within that. And this is what I call time chunking. So we all have 24 hours in a day, 168 hours a week. How is it some people are multi-billionaires by the time that they retire and there are other people that are struggling to live off of their pension? And a lot of it's to do with how they spent their time when they were in that working capacity. So a lot of people that watch my channel, maybe yourself included, are in a full-time job. Maybe you're watching this in the evening, right? And if you've got a full-time job, you've got your limited hours. But the cool thing about when you limit your hours, you set a boundary around it, you're actually more effective. If any of you remember when you were at school, you got three months to write an essay, and I guarantee not one of you spent three months writing it. If you're anything like me, you did it the night before, but most people probably two to three weeks planned it out and got it written. Nobody needs three months to write a three or four page essay. Say. It's absolutely ridiculous, right? But because there's a, there's a law around it, I can't remember what it's called, but essentially you take as long as you give yourself. But what you want to do is time chunk. Give yourself these two hour segments. You set what you want to achieve by the outcome of it, and then you start taking your action. Next is saving, okay? One of the quickest ways of making money isn't actually to make more money, it's to save money. The reason for this is one word, tax. When you're going out there and you earn an extra pound, you're not actually earning an extra pound. By the way, you're, by the time your national insurance on the business side, your side, income tax, etc., is gone, you've probably got about 55 to 60 pence actually going in your pocket. Whereas when you save a pound, which can be done by not going to Costa Coffee, not going to Starbucks all the time, not going to cinema all the time, then you can save that money and a pound saved is a pound in your pocket. Now that might seem a little bit extreme, but what you need to realize is success is sacrifice. I'll say that again, success is sacrifice. Most successful people, including myself, financially speaking, have sacrificed a huge part of their life. For example, a big part of my social life, a big part of my free time, hobbies and things like that, have been sacrificed over the last decade in order to build up whatever business that I've managed to build up in that time. Whereas a lot of my other friends have sacrificed their career and their development and the finance opportunities available to them in turn for that social life and things like that. So it's not wrong or right. It's about what's most important to you and what you want to prioritize with that time chunking you make yourself available to. At this point, you really need to start thinking about structured education. Now, again, I am biased on this, but I'm a huge, huge proponent of investing your money to buy your time. People think of the school of hard knocks just if it's in property or anything investment related, please do not go out there alone. Please do not read a book and watch some YouTube videos and think, that's it, you just need to go out there. People that do that do not realize how much it slowed them down because they don't have a comparison metric to people that they speed up. But I really want to push this. If you're watching this video and you'd love to work with me, great. Put education in the comments below and I'll reply to the comment with how to get in touch and we can have a chat. 
But there will be people watching this where it's like, I really want to invest in my education. I just don't like Jamie. I genuinely mean this. That's cool. You're probably on the wrong channel, but that's cool. There are other people out there, some really powerful people that can help enhance your journey. When you are making that financial commitment, go in with the right person and back yourself. The reason this is so important is that the way that I can describe this, kind of like the iPhone, right? If you think of an iPhone, they're pretty decent phone, I would say. You can watch a YouTube channel, right? This YouTube channel, almost 300 videos, loads of them out. Yeah, you educate yourself. So you know, you can learn about lease options, assisted sale, buy to let marketing, whatever it is on this channel. Same as an iPhone, you know there's some electrics in there, there's glass, there's cobalt, there's certain amounts of plastic. You can Google all of the materials. Does that mean you know how to make an iPhone? No. So it's like when people say you can Google everything. It's like, yeah, but what do you Google? What is the good information? What's the bad information? And how do you assemble it all together? There's a big difference between knowing the ingredients to a recipe and actually being able to put the recipe together for food to taste good. OK, so when you are ready, make sure you get the best structured program that you can. As I said, if it's with me, put education below. If it's not with me, that's great as well. Just enjoy the free content. When you're ready to invest, you can invest. And educating myself, and I invested quite heavily. I'm not saying everyone should do it. I'm talking like 30,000 plus in education and mentors to really drive me forward. And that really accelerated me. But here's the key that divided me, because there was a lot of people on the education courses that I went on that didn't actually get any results. And this comes to the word action. Action is the key, okay? Action's what's going to move you. You can watch hundreds of videos. I get messages from you guys on my Instagram, at Jamie York Official, if you ever want to chat on there, by the way, talking about how you've watched every single video. But then I ask what action you've taken, what you've implemented. Oh, I've not got around to it yet. Why? Stop watching these videos. Unsubscribe. I'd rather you unsubscribe right now, never watch a video again, and start taking action on what I'm actually talking about in the first place, okay? Action is what gets you from the ideas, the concepts, to the results in general. Now, the question is, that's great, Jamie. What is it I should take action on? And ultimately, if you're sat here watching this and you've got a thousand pounds, it really comes down to maybe one or two strategies, but only one that I can genuinely think of where a thousand pounds is going to get you anywhere. OK, and that is deal packaging. So deal packaging is when you go out there and you find a property and you match it to the investor, somebody that has got the money. What's the thousand pound going to be used for? Well, mainly compliance. OK, you need to set up the business. You need to get some insurance on it. You can find a great investment opportunity based on this investor's criteria. You match them together and then you get paid in the middle between five and ten thousand pounds typically. Now, there are other strategies that are considered no money down strategies, lease options, rent to rents, etc. They are not low money down strategies at all. Number one, it takes five to 10 grand, I would say, for the average rent to rent to lease, which is very low, by the way. And if you can raise that, great. But more importantly, you're signing yourself up to a liability. The thing that I love about deal packaging is you are simply using your time to earn the money. And that is how you make money in property to then invest in property in the first place. So either deal packaging or you focus your time on raising finance. The reality is a lot of people are looking for a quick win. And I'm sorry if you watch this video thinking you've got a thousand, you're going to suddenly make into a hundred thousand in a couple of months. It doesn't work like that. And I know there's so many gurus out there that are full of shit and want to sell you this dream that you can invest a thousand, change your life in 30 days. But I'd rather lose you as a potential subscriber by telling you the truth. The reality is if you go through that and educate yourself and bring yourself together over the next three months and then invest that into the right education, whether it's with me or somebody else, you will make a success of yourself over the next three, six to 12 months and really accelerate that journey. But you've got to back yourself and really embrace the concept of get <laughs> 
rich, slow. That is the only long-term wealth strategy that you need to have your mindset on. I hope that's been helpful in some way, really to recalibrate you, to get that saver's mindset and understand that there are foundations and fundamentals that you need to have in place to go from where you're at to get wealthy. If you're new to the channel and you want to find out more about property investment in a safe, simple, substantial and long-term sort of way, then this is a channel for you. Make sure to hit the subscribe and the notification bell. Hit the like if you did get value from the realism of this video, and I'll see you in the next one.